Uh, Mrs. Navarre, the, the wagons of Lore are capable of dealing with strong winds when they exceed 90 km per hour on the French uh, coastline. What do these wagons have that other wagons do not have? Um, before maybe some words about the story of our uh, wagons, uh, because uh, Lord developed uh, this technology, design and uh, manufacture this wagon uh, since more than uh, 20 years. And uh, of course, we have a different generation of, of wagons. And uh, when we study the sudden long line between uh, Luxembourg and uh, Perpignan, which is at the border of, uh, of France and Spain, uh, with our clients, uh, the railway operator, uh, we were aware of a problem with uh, um, strong high crosswinds. Uh, the um, uh, railway authority aware us it was impossible to run uh, with combined wagons when the crosswind was uh, increased uh, 90 kilometers per day. And it was uh, around uh, 50 days per year. And it was quite incompatible with the target of our clients to run daily uh, uh, three times, three return uh, persons uh, per day. So um, it, was a, it was because of a previous accident with a container that fly out a, 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 a combined uh, classic wagons. So we study a specific device, the locking device that fix the king pin of the semi-trailer uh, on the wagons. Very seriously, we prove it uh, with a, a campaign of uh, test we design it so that uh, we can guarantee the stability of the wagons and of its load um, up to uh, 140 kilometers per per uh, hour for cross rim. So uh, after this uh, test and homologation. Uh, since uh, 27, uh, uh, our wagons, the second generation, with this specific device, has been running on this line along the Mediterranean Sea, and frequent, frequently we have winds. And so, uh, with this uh, specific device, we are able to to run um, every day um, uh, without any problem. Yeah, and what is so, the what is the risk that you're uh, trying to avoid or that you're avoiding? What is the risk that oh, comes with the, this? The main risk is, you know, uh, an accident uh, when the, 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 the load, so the summit trailer or the container, uh, uh, fly out the, the, the pocket. So uh, there, there was this tragic accident on the Red Belt in uh, Denmark uh, two or three years ago. Uh, and uh, at this moment, all the security um, authority of railway asked us to explain what was the specific device with law wagons uh, and um, the his ability to 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 guarantee uh, the, the the stability of the wagon and uh, and of its load. Yeah. yeah, you mentioned the Great Belt Bridge in uh, Denmark, and now recently there was another incident where people considered it as a dangerous situation. What do you think? Was this a dangerous situation and is the Great Belt Bridge equally risky as the area in France that you're uh, operating? Uh, I am not an expert of security. So first of all, to be very honest and modest, uh, we have a good vision uh, of our product and uh, all the effort we done to design a, a safety uh, uh, locking device, um, I think that uh, with uh, the climate change, uh, we will have in the future more and more this period of very strong uh, um, uh, cross winds. So, of course, uh, it is an advantage uh, we have uh, with our wagons because the only possibility is to stop all the combined railway traffic when there are uh, strong um, uh, cross winds. So um, 
in my opinion, uh, it is a, a problem addressed to all the community of uh, uh, manufacturer, operator, and uh, uh, safety uh, expert to uh, stabilize uh, this uh, uh, problem in the future. It's very important because we will have those uh, uh, period more and more. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it's an advantage for, for low railway system. Uh, uh, we do it not to have an advantage. We do it to uh, respond the, uh, the need of our clients. Uh, it's what is important because if we want to be in competition uh, and if we want to increase uh, the, the shift from rail to from road to rail, we must be uh, uh, focus on uh, uh, the best knowledge of what is a semi trailer. A semi trailer is uh, uh, designed to be on the road, and uh, law company is. His first activity is to be a leader for car, car carriers to transport on road uh, a car. So we have, I think so, uh, a good knowledge of what is a semi trailer. And we design our wagons around the specificity and uh, the, 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 the best uh, uh, way to shift it on the road, on the, on the rail. Yeah. So, um, I think it is a, a common problem for uh, the, um, the community of railway and specifically uh, the community of uh, combined railway. Yeah, and it's a common problem, but therefore it surprises me even more that uh, you're the only one allowed to operate or your wagons to be operated uh, on the French coastline. Aren't there any other safety measures in, uh, on the market? I think there is there <laughs> there is also the problem of the gauge uh, and uh, uh, before a, a colleague of OPAC explained that uh, of course uh, uh, we have in the south of in the west and south of Europe in France in Spain in Italy in UK a problem with the with the gauge it is historical um, uh, network are smaller uh, than uh, the, on, on the east part of Europe. Um, uh, for for us, it is. I can say small is beautiful uh, because uh, our wagon was designed for uh, a very smaller gauge, and you know that our wagon is very low part. Uh, only 22 centimeters from railway. So I don't want to give any lesson to uh, the public authority, to the French railway or Ministry of Transport. I only say that if we must challenge the, uh, the problem with gauge, and it could be a, a good uh, subject, I only uh, want to underline that we will have important uh, civil works on the infrastructure, around 2 billion uh, uh, of uh, works to put uh, more than 100 tunnel to the uh, good uh, gauge. And it will be uh, a very important uh, works on the network. And currently, all the traffic will, ha will be impacted. So uh, this subject is a serious subject. Uh, the problem is not to have uh, uh, a condition of competition not open. Uh, I really think that it is a, a very important uh, subject, but we must pay attention to the impact of civil works on, on the network it will, because it will penalize all the traffic and specifically Right freight traffic. During the COVID uh, crisis, uh, we all realized that there were less passenger train, and for the railway freight, it was better. Yeah. Uh, Lore is a system that allows not only for the transport of craneable, but also non craneable trailers, and it has a horizontal loading technique, which is currently applied in seven terminals. One of these terminals is uh, in Calais, near the Channel Tunnel to the UK, and we will first have a look at a short movie of this terminal.
Yes, we talked about uh, loading techniques for non-credible trainers on the show before. What makes LOR and LOR's technology different from those other techniques? Uh, the, the philosophy of our technology is to, um, uh, to allow the safe and horizontal transshipment from all standards, so mitralar, credible and not credible, uh, from road to rail. And uh, uh, the very interesting specification of our technology are more on the terminal than on the, on the wagons. Uh, since more now uh, 20 years, uh, our wagons, which is maybe uh, the grandfather uh, of the wagons of the uh, 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 piggyback solution, uh, uh, allow the transshipment of more than 2 million summit trailer. And you know that there is also a great impact on uh, the, uh, the climate uh, because we save more than uh, 2 million tons of CO2 uh, uh, with uh, our, our technology. Um, so, uh, what we learn during those uh, 20 years and with this uh, different line uh, under operation is that we must be very close of the need uh, uh, and the satisfaction of the need of the final clients, which is a road transport. You know that the semi trailer is a source of revenue for uh, road transport. So we must uh, save time and money for them with this classic uh, um, uh, transshipment. Yeah. Now, last year there was a, a terminal built in Poznan with this uh, loading technique and there was a successful connection uh, made between Luxembourg and Poland. What else is in the pipeline? Uh, we have different uh, projects in the pipeline. Uh, some are our force very confidential and are not able to, to, to speak of them, but we want to develop uh, on the uh, east uh, part of Europe. Uh, we were focusing the first time uh, in the on the connection between France, Italy, uh, UK and uh, um, uh, Spain. Uh, so we want develop to develop on the different corridor in direction of Russia and uh, um, uh, the east part of, of Europe, because there are a lot of uh, uh, semi trailer on the road, and it is uh, uh, an obligation to, to offer a solution uh, to shift uh, semi trailer on rail. Uh, a project is public, so now I can't speak of it because our prime minister uh, 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 announced it uh, in last uh, July. It is a very interesting project because our client is not a classic uh, uh, railway client. It is uh, um, uh, a ferry company, Brittany Ferry, to make the connection between UK, Ireland and uh, Spain with uh, a new line uh, open between uh, Cherbourg, the port of Cherbourg and uh, the Bayona in the south of France. Interesting. Now, how do you see the future of uh, semi-trailers on rail and what is your role in this? Uh, we expect uh, uh, that uh, uh, on European side, uh, with the Commission, we will have uh, uh, they will recognize that uh, uh, the horizontal uh, transshipment is uh, adapt to uh, shift more and more uh, semi trailer from uh, road to rail. Uh, we have a com we have a competitors. It's a good thing to have competitors, uh, cargo beamer, of course, and all the technology that put uh, um, uh, also uh, uh, specific um, uh, pocket uh, on the classic combined transport. So. All this um, ecosystem is good uh, for the future because uh, I insist on this point. Uh, the competition is not between the railway company, it is with the road and we must offer them uh, technology very close of the need. Yeah. Okay, I will not hold you any longer. You have an appointment with the French uh, Minister of Transport. So thank yes. you very much. Not for, not for railway system. Ah, for, okay. For electric shuttle and autonomous electric shuttle that we develop in, in our group. Ah, okay. Well, that's also important. Thank you very much yes. for joining Thanks us. Thanks, you.